Această emisiune este sponsorizată de Centrul de Carte Străină SITCA. Good afternoon everyone. I hope you are as excited as I am to embark on this incredible learning journey together. My name is Andrea Moldoveanu and I'm absolutely happy to be your teacher this session. I am a teacher of English at secondary school number 40 and I have been teaching English for more than 12 years. With a passion for education and a commitment to your success, I am here to guide, support and inspire you every step of the way. Get ready for our lessons and thought-provoking discussions. Buckle up because the adventure starts now! Bună ziua și bine v-am regăsit! Alături de mine o vom avea astăzi la cursul de limba engleză nivel A1 începător pe Maria care, în afară de faptul că este pasionată de limba engleză, este pasionată și de escaladă. Maria, te rog frumos să ne prezinți câteva, să ne spui câteva cuvinte despre tine în limba engleză. Hello, my name is Maria. I am 12 years old. I study at Alexandru Vlahuță High School from Bucharest. I have a cat and a dog. My favorite color is dark red. I like reading. My favorite book is The Secret Garden and the book I look uh, forward reading to is Crime and Punishment. I also like listening to music. My favorite band is Maneskin. My favorite song from them is Gossip because the beat is really catchy and also because uh, it says a message to stop gossiping. I really don't like gossiping. This summer I went to the sea. I studied a lot and I slept uh, one night in the woods without scent. It was nice. So our title, our lesson title is Shapes and Colors. So in this lesson, pupils will recognize shapes in their surroundings and learn about colors. Which one is your favorite shape? My favorite shape is uh, the heart. Why? Because it uh, resembles love and because it uh, has an interesting form. Okay, so we have here circle, oval, triangle, square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, star, heart, cross, crescent, arrow, diamond, pi, octagon, decagon, and semicircle. So my favorite shape is circle. Maria, do you remember the colors in English? Yes. Okay, can you give me some examples of colors? As you can see here, we have red, yes. green, red, green, uh, blue. purple, blue, yellow, yellow, orange, orange. We have purple, black, black okay, brown black, and pink. Brown and the pink. Maria, we are going to have a matching activity, so pay attention to these shapes. And let's see, what does it represent, the first one, if you know? The first uh, shape represents a cone. The second one. The second shape represents a cube. The third one. The third one represents a circle. This one, what does it represent? It represents a pyramid. A pyramid, yes. A pyramid. Yes, and on the right side, the first one. There is a triangle. Okay. A rectangle yes. and a square. And a square. Okay, so we, here we have on the right side a picture of a school bag. You have to count the shapes and after that complete the chart. So tell me the name of the first shape that you can see. A circle. Okay, circle. Nine circles. Oh, the, I can see two cubes. Okay. What else? A cone. A cone, yes. How 
How many cones do we have? A uh, one cone. There also is a pyramid. Okay, pyramid. Pyramid. How many do we have? A uh, one. There are three tri triangles. And uh, three rectangles. Okay, Maria, take a piece of paper and draw this hat. After that, take colored pencils and draw three orange circles, one blue rectangle, four green triangles, and two yellow squares. Okay, Maria, ready? Show it to the camera, please. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so here we have some lyrics of the song, Mr. Shape Hat song. Uh, we do not have the music, but instead you have to read every passage of the song, Maria, and show to us, for example, Mr. Shape Hat, my eyes are square, so you have to draw a square in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. So, my eyes are square, but I'm okay, so you have to draw the shape of the square. Mm -hmm. Very well. My ears are circles. Yes, very well. My nose is a triangle. Yes, very well. My head is square. Yes, very well. My mouth is a rectangle. My hair is a triangle. Yes, very well. And for I am Mr. Shape Hat. Was that easy, Maria? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you please tell me how do I have to draw Mr. Shape Hat? For example, my eyes are square, so I'll have to draw the uh, eyes. Two yes. squares. My ears are then circles. Two, two circles. Uh, my nose is a triangle. A small triangle between the two eyes. My mouth is a rectangle. A rectangle underneath the triangle. Yes. How is my um, head? Uh, my uh, sorry. My head is square. A big square where all all of these things are in. And. Uh, my hair is a triangle, a triangle on top of everything. And my mouth is a rectangle. Uh, yes. Yes, like this. So this is Mr. Shape Head. We have a reading activity, big box shapes. First of all, you have to read in English the text and after that to translate it into Romanian. Anna and John found a box. It was filled with many shapes. Anna pulled out a square. Then she took a, out a triangle. I put it on top, she said. What did Anna make? A house. I will live in the house with my grandma and grandpa, said Anna. John took a big circle from the box. Then he added three smaller circles. Now it needs a smile, said John. What did John make? There are so many shapes in here, said Anna and John. Hmm, what else can we make? Anna and John stacked and, uh, sh shapes up, up, up. And what did they make? I will tell you. A big mess. A big mess. Okay, translate. Anna și John au găsit o cotie. Era plină de multe forme. Anna a luat un opățat. Apoi a luat un triunghi. O să pun peste, a zis. Ce-a făcut Anna? O casă. O să trăiesc în casă cu bunica și bunicul meu, a zis Ana. John a luat un cerc mare. 
din cutie și a pus peste el trei cercuri mai mici. Acum tot ce mai are nevoie este un zâmbet, a zis John. Ce a făcut John? Sunt atât de multe forme aici, au spus Ana și John. Hmm, ce altceva mai putem să facem? Ana și John au pus formele unele peste altele. Ce au făcut? Un o mare dezastru. Exact. Do you know what is a ten gram? Uh, no. Well, the ten gram is an old Chinese toy. What shapes can you see here? Well, here I can see triangles, a square and a, a parallelogram. What color are they? They are orange, green, yellow, uh, red, uh, dark blue and light blue. Look at the shapes that you have here in this tentgram. Can you see them in your house? I can only see uh, squares. For example, can you give me examples of objects that have this shape? Uh, the keyboard, the, uh, some of the letters on my key keyboard from my laptop, mm -hmm. for example. Okay. Or what, I what have the... here a small Okay, but what about your classroom, if you remember? Uh, my classroom... I, I don't uh, remember, remember too well. You do not remember, okay. So we have to describe each picture by saying the size. If it is big or small, the color, and the shape of each one. So have a look for a few seconds. Okay, and let's write down the description of each picture. So we have 16 pictures. The first one is the example, big, red and oval. The second one. This, this is, the second one is, is small, green and oval. The third one is uh, small, blue and square. The fourth one is big, orange and square. Big? Orange. Orange. And square. Okay. The fifth one is a small green, gray and circle. The sixth is a big purple and circle. The seventh is a small black star. The eighth is a, a big green star. Can you please repeat? Big green and star. Big green star. Okay, thank you. Next. Uh, next is a small white triangle. Then a big orange tri triangle. Big blue diamond. And uh, a big brown rect 
big brown rectangle and a small yellow diamond A small pink, pink rectangle A small purple heart And, and the last a one? big red, a big red heart. Okay. We have another activity regarding shapes and colors. Maria, you have to complete. This is a a triangle. Triangle. The triangle, the triangle is yellow. This is a circle. The circle is blue. Next. This is a square. The the square is orange. Okay. This is a star. The star is purple. Maria, please tell me which part of this lesson did you like most and what have you learned? I, I liked the telegram part most and I learned uh, a lot of uh, new shapes. Can you please give me some examples of shapes that you learned? Uh, the Parallelogram, the diamond, and the, the and the arrow. And the arrow. Okay. And uh, which one is your favorite color, and why? My favorite color is red because uh, it's. Uh, really beautiful and pleasant to my eye. Mine is also red because I'm wearing a red dress today. Uh, Maria, let's imagine an ideal house. Can you please build it using the shapes that you have learned today? Uh, yes. Okay. So imagine and make sentences with this ideal house using the shapes. For example, my ideal house has a triangle roof, a big circle pond in the middle of our garden. I gave you this example to you in order to help you imagine. Okay, okay so you may start. My, uh, my ideal house out of shapes will have a the house will be a square and on top the roof will be a triangle uh as a door a rect rectangle and uh, it will have also two small uh, squares as uh, 
windows and also two more squares on the roof also as windows but for the attic and uh, it will have uh, a circle handle for the door um outside it will have uh, trees made out of uh, okay um rectangles and uh, circles and okay, it Maria. on the in in the sky you see you can see birds in form of arrows okay thank you great thank you maria for today you did great You're welcome. thank you for watching thank see you, you next week bye bye